Hi, hey, hello, welcome. My name is Shelly and today we are doing the spooky scary book tag. So, <laughs> that was a mouthful. <laughs> but as usual, no one tagged me. I'm just doing this willy nilly. So, let's just get into the questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Question number one. What goes bump in the night? Name a book that has legitimately scared you while reading it. Um. Frozen Charlotte by Alex Bell. Creepy dolls. Ghosts. Middle of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. You read it and say you weren't kind of freaked out about it every now and again. And if you are, are you made of steel? Question number two. Jack O'Lanterns and classic costumes. A book you always reach for during Halloween time. So yeah, a mood reader. I don't really... I don't really go for any set type of set books. Uh, during any set time of year but if I were to go for like a reread during Halloween time uh, I might be picking up a certain Percy Jackson series maybe by Rick Riordan <laughs> that was like the worst ad ever mythology and stuff I have been rereading this series uh, this year so I won't be picking this up just yet, uh, but pretty sure it would be something like this. Yeah. Question number three. Black Cats and Magic Mirrors. A book you like that is laced with superstition and or magic. So, as usual, I had to think about this one. But for this one, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to go with uh, the House of Night series, or Marked, like this book is, by PC and Kristen Cast. So, they, they're kind of vampires, kind of not, they're kind of witches, they're kind of not. They're superstition, sort of. I think I need to reread this series <laughs> to, like, give a more something something about this, but Basically, it's it's weird. It's what it is, and uh, it's a long ass series as well. But you know, easy reads, sort of. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll go with there. Question number four: Witch's Brew. Favorite witch character in a book or series? So. I don't really have a favourite witch, so I'm gonna jump over that part and just go with favourite character in a book or series. And I'm going with Rose Hathaway from the Vampire Academy series, uh, cause uh, she's a badass character, she's not a witch, she's just a badass, kickass girl. I kinda wish I was her, but I'm not. I'm actually okay with it, but yeah. Question number five, ghouls and ghosts. A book that still haunts you to this day, good or bad? So, <laughs> this is definitely gonna fall under the unpopular opinion kind of a thing, uh, but the thing is, this book that I'm about to mention has everyone who's read it that I've heard their opinion of it, uh, says this book is so good, so beautiful, it's like, it's like, it's, it's a really good book and apparently the movie is just as beautiful and to me it was just bad. I, 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 I just couldn't get what was good about it and <laughs> I guess I'll get hate for it, I don't care, but it's A Monster Called by Patrick Ness and um, yeah, I did not like this book. To me, this was just bad. 
that there's there's really not much else to say about it. I'm sorry. I didn't like it, but doesn't mean anybody else can't like it. We all have different tastes and bit and opinions. It's still okay. Question number six: Haunted graveyard. You're all alone in a haunted graveyard. You get one book to give you comfort. Which is it? So. Uh, this book pick isn't necessarily because it's the greatest book ever written because it's it's really not um, But it's a big chunky book. It's a big chunky hardback book um, So I picked Breaking Dawn by Stephanie Meyer and whoa that glare Yeah, that's great. Uh, I picked it because it's a big chunky hardback book and um I'm pretty sure I could do some damage with this, so I would feel comfort in knowing I had a big chunky book that I could use as a weapon. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, if I got bored, I could just read it. Question and number seven, the undead. Favourite supernatural creatures to read about? So there's a few. I basically like them all. But if I'm going with like what kind of books I have most of, uh, it's probably vampires. Not that is just my choice. I could go with zombies, werewolves, fairies, um, what else is there? I could go with them all basically. I witches, wizards. <laughs> Basically, I like most supernatural creatures. I can't think of one that I really dislike. They're all intriguing in one way or another. But if I'm going with what I have most of, it's probably vampires, let's be honest. <laughs> Question number eight. In the dead of night, pick a book with a black cover. So I thought I would, uh, you know, pick a book that I haven't picked multiple times already. And I th thought of, you know, let's pick The Taker. And that's a glare as well. The Taker by Alma Katsu. Um, how to explain this book? I'm not sure I can. Uh, basically, there's an immortal and... Uh, you can get become immortal if someone turns you immortal. It it it's a certain procedure to be done, and the only way you can die is if the one that created you or made you immortal uh, takes your life, basically. Um, and uh, yeah, it's it's a story in time as well because you sort of. Uh, go back in time to see how this character, uh, one of the main characters, were, was created, was turned immortal in the first place. Because she's not from the now time, the present time. <laughs> the now time, the present. Um, so we sort of go back and forth between a male and female character and they, they meet, they, she tells her story. There's like rape in his, as well, which I wasn't too fond of, truth be told. But it's it's a very intriguing story and the way it turns out, because it's a trilogy and the way it ends, it's sort of like I did not see that one coming because uh, the one that created her sort of tells their story as well um, and then finds other things out. <laughs> I'm so bad at explaining things. Why am I doing this again? I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'm so bad at explaining things, but there you go. Um, I think I will be rereading this series again at some point. I kind of know what's coming, but maybe that won't be as triggering as it kind of was the first time around but I still really enjoyed the series even with the the nastier aspects of it 
let's call it that. So question number nine is trick or treats. Um, I think I would always go with treats because who doesn't like a treat? I do like my treats. So that was all for this tag. <laughs> Short and sweet, we do like it that way. Yes. Uh, if you have done this tag, please comment down below and I will make sure to watch your video. And until next time, I guess. Take care. Ah, uh, bye-bye.